Aaron in Oakland, California writes to me and he says, Hi Paul, my question is, why can't they make audio processors upgradable by paying to download the latest Dolby or whatever, or, uh, instead of having to go to spend thousands of dollars on a new processor or receiver every few years? It seems like every other technology has reached this point. Why not audio? I think that's a, a really good question, Aaron. I think it's completely valid. Um, there are examples, of course, of some companies, PS Audio, for example, um, we, like the, that DAC right there, the Direct Stream DAC, that, see this little card? This little SD card? We routinely, well, routinely, every six months, uh, every, every year or so, we completely upgrade the DAC electronics inside with new stuff. And we do it for free to our customers, which is kind of cool. And we, do, we, we just you download it, you put it on this little SD card, and it completely rebuilds. Whoa! Well, I'll get that. It completely rebuilds the insides. Now, that's because the electronics that we use is called an FPGA, a Field Programmable Gate Array. It's kind of like what everything else has, except that in the field, you can program it. Now, those are much more difficult to design, build, and program than buying an off-the-shelf chip, right? So, specifically to your question, because you asked about Dolby and integrated and receivers, those generally are using off-the-shelf parts. So, I can, as an OEM manufacturer, I can go to Texas Instruments, to Cirrus Logic, to any number of the big semiconductor companies, and for very little money, $15, $12, I can buy an entire uh, surround sound processor on a chip, and I add my peripherals, and I have a power supply, and I sell it to you as an integrated receiver or as a surround sound processor. And that's very, well, it takes, a, it takes years to build that, but still, I don't want to minimize the task, but still, it's a hardware-specific product. In other words, everything that it does in terms of processing, whether I use one processor or 30 processors, is fixed. That's what it does. It doesn't use something like an FPGA, where everything is assignable and upgradable, because that is far more expensive and lots more time to do it. So if you're going out and buying a consumer audio product, most consumer audio products uh, are going after features, function, and price. And to do that, it's a lot easier to use fixed electronics. Can it be done? Absolutely. Is it done very often? Nope. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question. All right. Thanks and take it easy and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.